that whole we got a little lake right here on the freeway oh my god potholes the potholes oh my goodness for everyone that's not in cali right now we're having these crazy storms out here man there's been a lot of flooding there's been a lot of rain just nasty out here luckily in my area it's not too bad but i've seen areas like gilroy where it's just like completely flooded there's houses that are halfway underwater i was walking around my building and i saw that a whole chunk fell off like the, the wall fell off bro when i saw that i looked down for a second i thought someone got smashed but thank god it didn't fall on anyone it's been crazy out here in cali on a more positive note though california is not in a drought anymore so that's cool but still, man, people's houses are flooding. There's been a lot of accidents and all that, so be safe, y'all. Just made it to Wet Media's place. Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you guys one of the new side hustles that we just started, and it's with this machine right behind us. This beautiful embroidery machine that was super expensive. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a couple embroidery drops here and there throughout the months and this is basically our whole embroidery journey right here. We're still learning, we're still trying to perfect everything so we got a couple things that we're gonna run today. Raph is actually about to load a hat up right now. My friend's dad has a, like an overlanding crew. Yeah. It's called P4 Adventures. And we're gonna, he wants these on trucker hats so. We're gonna test it out. Yeah. Show you guys a couple test runs that we did this was the very first one this concept that we're working on this is the gtr concept as you can see it turned out pretty boof this looks like a dub edition gtr this is the first one it was mainly the embroidery file for this one so we switched it up did a revision and then this one came out pretty good but the colors were off so we went ahead and tried it once more this is where we're at with everything right now Boom, nice blue R34. This one came out the cleanest. Just this design takes about 20,000 stitches. But yeah, my goal today is to perfect at least one fitted cap with that GTR design. There's a couple more elements that we wanted to add. We're really just getting into the custom fitted game. So we're gonna be able to do custom fitted drops for you guys. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, make sure you're following me and Wet Media on our Instagrams, which will be linked down below, or you can check us out on the screen right here. All right, we just had an issue right now. We have a thread break in the machine. So we just gotta double check and make sure everything's good. We did a two day training, which you would have seen if you're subbed to the vlog channel. Boom, boom, trim. All right, we're pulling it off the hoop. Adventure awaits, get out and explore. What does that say? Pet adventures? P4. Yo, <laughs> P4. <laughs> For the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna do the GTR. Final GTR hat, hopefully. We perfect it, if not, $42 down the drain. We're about to click the button. You're about to click it. I'm, gonna click, I'm gonna click it? You're gonna click it. Oh no. It is starting to rain again. I just ran next my windshield. You can see the water falling off. So this design right here, it takes almost an hour to stitch. And it's, let me see. This design is about 65% done. So for this hat, I wanted to add a couple more hits to make it a little bit more spicy. I think it's cool to see this thing slowly come to life. So we just ran into a slight issue where these pins right here, one of them got popped off because the needle ended up getting too close to it. So that popped off, which meant that the fabric was able to shift just a slight bit. I'm just trying to dial everything in and perfect everything before we start selling hats for you guys. So this is all a part of the process. Normally I wouldn't even record this because 
It's just trial and error, but I wanted to show you guys what goes into it whenever we make a product. This design will be roughly 19,000 stitches. For the front of the hat, we're gonna do four Paul right here since this is kind of like a Paul Walker inspired cap. So we just ran three different texts, three different versions. We're gonna go with the top one right there and it's just gonna fit perfectly in between right here. So we just need to cut this out, get the spacing right, and then we're also gonna do his signature on the side of the cap as well. <laughs> we need to start a GoFundMe for some scissors. No, I just don't wanna go upstairs. <laughs> We'll buy it. We'll buy a new set. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good enough. But we got good spacing. That's like perfect spacing. And the signature, we're gonna do probably on the side somewhere like this. All right, we're about to put the four paw on the front and we're kind of just winging it because it's our first time working with the logo that's already on the middle, so. Let's pray. Cause we could just resume it, right? Stop. Okay. All right. We got the we got the four down. <laughs> we got the four down. Whew. Whew, the top might hit the A because we didn't lower it enough. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Where's that? The patch. The patch. I mean, the patch. Hella close. It might not touch, but it's gonna be close. Well, I feel like the ring will hit it, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Does that change anything though? It might mess it up. Quick update, we're running the Paul Walker signature right now. And this is the last part for this hat. Let's go. So far, I think we spent about maybe two and a half hours just messing with this thing, trying to dial everything down. We're still ironing out the kinks a little bit, but I'm excited to show you guys the hat when it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the final product right here. We got the R34 for Paul on the front and then his signature on the side. Came out pretty freaking good. So right now we're running socks. It's my dad's birthday in a couple weeks, so we have his logo. We put it on some socks and then we also put it on a new hat. So let me show you guys how the hat came out. It's a nice Nike dry fit cap with his logo. Nice and simple. We're going to Hawaii in a couple weeks so he can use this. And then we also got his logo on some stance socks right here. So yeah, we're gonna finish this up. And we'll wrap up this video. have any cool hat ideas or you want anything done you could go ahead and shoot me a dm on instagram at sneakerhead in the bay the plan with the hats though is that we're going to do limited drops so this will probably be the first one i'm going to take pictures of it and then i'll have it on my website but i'll make sure i post it on instagram first so if you guys aren't following make sure you follow sneakerhead in the bay and also you make sure you follow wet media we'll let you guys know when these hats go live if you're interested in purchasing I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video right here. Again, if you like this kind of content, I know it's a little bit different from my usual sneaker videos. Um, if y'all like it, let me know. Drop a comment down below and I'll bring you guys more videos. And again, if you have any cool concepts, any cool ideas, you can go ahead and shoot it to me on Instagram at sneakerhead in the bay. But until next time, I'll catch you guys very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.